Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to show you part two of a three-part series on how to make a flower bracelet. This part is going to investigate how to make the petals of the bracelet, and I would like to give credit to Suzanne Peterson from Rainbow Loom for the inspiration for the design. Um, if you take a look at her hibiscus flower design, you'll see there are a lot of similarities. There's some key differences, but since it is so similar, check out her book. It has a section in it called the hibiscus flower, and that will show you how to make something similar to this that looks like a star or a flower. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to set up your loom. You need one large base, one small base, and three bar pins. And the way you want to align the bar pins is all offset. <clears throat> so the first bar pin is going to go anywhere. Then the second bar pin is going to be in the same direction, but instead of aligned perfectly, it's just one peg off, so move it just one slot to the left, then push down, and then your third bar pin is also going to be one off from the one right on top of it, so instead of parallel, you're moving it one to the left, then push down, so it's creating this kind of diagonal stripe if you put your hook on it okay so I'm gonna use two colors you can use any type of green and then I like to use glow-in-the-dark and everything so the center of my petals are going to be glow-in-the-dark white so you are going to need your two colors set up the first band that you're putting on is going to connect <clears throat> anywhere in the center really as long as you have enough to go at least four pegs to the right that should be enough all of these bands are capped so make sure that when you're doing this you are capping all your bands and you're just gonna put that green rubber band anywhere on the bottom left okay just like so and that is going to be the start of the petal. The next one you're going to put on is going to go one up to the center. So kind of diagonal to the right. Third band is going to just be on the bottom and go straight to the right. Okay. Fourth band is going to go on the bottom straight to the right. Again, these are all cap bands, so if you didn't cap them, just go backwards and cap them. Fifth one is going to go from this peg to this peg, so from the middle to the top bar pin. Again, diagonally to the right, creating a border. And then the next one is going to go from... the top to the next peg to the right just like so the next one is gonna go on the other side straight to the center okay and now you're gonna pick up one of your inner colors mine being glow in the dark white and connect the center to the center of the petal, the center on the bottom to the center on the center, and then the left center to the center center. Okay, and then now you want to put a rubber band diagonally across, connecting these three pegs. Again, it's capped, so just like so. And then another cap band, which is going to go from the center center to the center right. 
and then another cap band from the center center to the top and then another green we're going back to green going from the top straight to the right and then the center right to the top right and right here we are putting a capped band so that is going to be the last band of the pedal and this cap band right here is actually going to be this band right here that holds this pedal together so at this point we can actually begin looping and what you want to do is you want to get into that cap band right there you want to go in front of it maybe push down and bring the cap band up you want to go in front of that cap band and grab those top two greens and if you're having trouble figuring out what the top two greens are you might want to go back in and organize the band so that the top's on the top, the middle's on the middle, and the bottom's on the bottom. So in this case, you can clearly see that these two are the top bands, and then this is the bottom. So again, I'm going in front of that cap band, and I'm grabbing the top two, which are going to be over here. You might want to take your thumb and hold on to that cap band so it doesn't slip off. Okay. And then pull those two up and over itself. Then go back in front of that cap band. Grab those other two bands. Maybe hold on to the cap. Bring it over the peg. Up and over itself and then push down okay next you're gonna go in front of all of these top rubber bands and then once you get to the white rubber bands you're grabbing just those two whites you gotta make sure you're in front of all of these bands except for those two whites there's still gonna be two greens on the bottom so grab those two whites Get around those edges, bring it up and over itself. Then you're going to go on this peg, same thing. Get in front of all those greens, but make sure you don't go too far because there's still going to be two greens on the bottom. Get in front of these greens. Then grab those two whites and bring it up around those edges and over itself okay now from this center peg you're not going to do anything with this rubber band right here this is going to stay like this this whole entire time you want to go in front and identify which two ends are on the top so again side view go in you recognize this one's on the bottom this one is second from the bottom so we're identifying these two bands and then we're going to bring that up top so in front of all of the bands except those two okay and bring this up and over itself okay I'm just going to pull it back and just show you again in front of all of these bands and now you're just grabbing those bottom two okay if you can't see that I'll turn it for another angle go in front of all of these bands except those bottom two okay and pull those out and over itself you always want to bring the bands back to itself so as you can see I thought it was that but I saw the other end over here so you're bringing it back to itself. Now you're going back and you're bringing up the greens 
on the perimeter, again in front of all those bands except those bottom, bottom two greens. Bring it up and over, and then over here, again on the other side of the perimeter, you're going in front of all of those bands, grabbing those two greens, and bring it up and over. Okay. Now back over here, in front of all those bands except those bottom two greens, up and over, in front of all of these bands over here on this side, grab those two bands, up and over, and then over here, maybe you want to bring all this up and the, the bottom to the bottom, you want to go in front of all of these bands, Set those bottom two, bring it up and over. And the same with this side in front of all those bands. Grab those bottom two, up and over. And this is actually going to be the last band that we're looping. You're going in front of all of the bands, grabbing that, bringing it up and over. But this is a tricky part. Once you bring it up and over, you want to take your hook, get inside these top two, and grab those bottom two from underneath, pull it out around, and while you're holding these bottom two bands, you're going to pull this off. Okay? Pull this off the peg while pulling on this one and then you're just gonna pull tighter until you feel like there was a knot created with this onto itself. And this knot is actually holding this whole entire pedal together. So once I feel like it's secure enough, I might have to tighten it later, I'll just let go and start removing the pedal from the whole entire loom. So. I'm just going to work one peg at a time, carefully pulling these off, because it is possible that you pull it off too fast and tear a band, and that's no fun. Okay. So there you go. If you see right here, you just pull it, and then it'll pull out. You know, don't think that you did anything wrong and pull this and there you go that's one pedal now you have to do the whole thing over again to create the other pedal so again just like before starting with any two pegs that are around here make sure there's four pegs to the right of it and you know you'll have enough space cap a band and then Connect those bottom two, again, cap a band, these two. I'm just going to work a little faster on this one because it's basically the same thing, but we are going to not go into as much details. Okay, I'm finished with my whole rubber band set up. And this time, rather than putting a cap band over there, I'm actually going to put this 
petal that I have already created and put it over this last peg. So that is actually the cat band. So again, starting from this one, get in front of this, maybe hold it, push down on the bottom one, identify which one's on the top. Okay, so these two bands are actually on the top. So I'm going in front of all of these bands and just grabbing those top two bands and bringing the bands back to itself. Maybe hold down. Now grab the remaining two bands from in front of that cap and bring it up and over. Again, go in front of all of these greens. Grab those two whites, but you're still leaving those two greens on the bottom. Bring it up and over. Go in front of all of these greens. Grab those two whites up and over. Then from in here, identify which two whites are on top, which are these two. So again, I'm going to have a side view this time. You're going to go in front of all of these bands, except those top two bands. Okay, bring it up. and over itself then these two bottom bands remaining bands bring it up and over itself then go in front of all of these bands grab those two greens and bring it up and over itself and go on the other side bring this one down so it's easier to identify Grab those two bands up and over. Okay, bring this one down. Get on this side. Grab those two bottoms. Bring it up and over. Bring this up so I could just grab those bottom two. Get in front of all those bands. Grab those two up and over and onto this side get in front of all those bands grab those two bring it up and over and then in front of all of these bands right here grab those bottom two bring it up and over and then this last one get in front of all of those bands grab those bottom two bring it up okay and over and again just like before you are now going to go inside this top band but outside the bottom grab those two bring it around and while you're holding on to this, you're going to pull this off and then just tighten it until you create a knot. Okay? And once you think there's a knot secured, you can let go and you can start pulling off the rest of the bands from the loom. Okay, maybe pull on these two ends. Again, this part, don't be concerned if you just pull it hard enough, that white part's going to disappear. Okay, so
so there you have it. The stems are done. And now you want to get your flower and these two green parts. You are just going to pull through that hole. So as you can see, it's held together like that. Okay? And there you have it. Now all we have to do is make the ivy bracelet.